This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We have got another bonus video for you today. So this is gonna be just phone footage, me arriving on site, showing you what I've got, what I've got on board, where I'm going, how I'm loading it, how I'm strapping it, etc., etc. It's a bit more sort of behind the scenes of what it entails to be a truck driver, uh, minus the actual driving. So please do stick around and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. Before I carry on, let me just ask you to do me a favor. If you can hit that subscribe button, I think it'll be somewhere up there, maybe down there would do me uh, a massive favour. It doesn't cost you a single penny to subscribe, but it does help me and my channel out. So we'd appreciate that. Right, so we are currently in uh, BMI in Sharwa, and we're just strapping up a full load of uh, roof and tires. We've got to take this to South Hall, um, just inside, I think it's just inside BM25. I think it is. I've been there once before. We're going to a place called JJ Roof and Supplies. Funnily enough, the last time I went there, um, it was it was very snowy. <laughs> I remember. I remember because I had a lot of snow on the bed that uh, it iced up, and then by the time I got there, it just sort of warmed up, and I had to scrape it all off before it fall, fell off on the road. So uh, yeah, that was interesting. All right, let's do this pallet up. tight <laughs> okay last strap nice we're done we're done right i know i keep saying this but i'm trying to lose weight uh i'm quite proud of myself actually i've lo i have lost one stone in weight it's not enough i need to lose more um but in the last week i lost five pounds and no it wasn't spending it on a kebab before anyone says <laughs> um i was quite pleased with that so let's try to keep up. What we're trying to do is just try and do as much walking as we can uh, during the day. Yesterday, for example, I had a load of bolt bags on. And um, I'll put it this way, it works out. If you walk around the truck, like literally around the back, all around the other side, around the front and back again, if you do that 20 times, it's one kilometre. I did that um, about 64 times yesterday. I've done exactly uh, 3.2 kilometres on my watch, which is two miles. So basically, whilst I was getting unloaded, I did a two mile walk. So that's what we're going to try and do as much as we can. Okay, what have we got on board? So we're fully loaded with roofing tiles, like I said. Uh, I haven't corner boarded the top ones because, well, I don't have a pole long enough to get up there and not allowed on the bed. So that I'll have to do. The truck is minging, definitely needs a wash. I was going to wash it Friday, but I didn't get back until 8 p.m. on Friday. Yes, you heard that correct. Eight o'clock at night on a Friday. So when I did get it back to the yard eventually, I was like, Mm, no, <laughs> I fill it with Abley, do my paperwork, download my card, but I didn't have time to watch the truck. I need to get home, so it's a bit late for a Friday, isn't it? But yes, does de ugh, does definitely need a a truck wash. Devon Truck Show is in about three weekends time from now, so not long to go. I have been and bought myself a couple of green beacons to go inside the window, uh, purely for the show. Obviously, I'm not going to go on the on the road with them. Just for the show, because they're green up there, so I thought it might match a bit more. I don't know, might do, might not. So that's on its way. That's not a fire alarm, that goes off every now and then. Don't know why, but it does. There we go, stop now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna jump in the truck, have a look at the sat-nav, see where we're going, and plan a route, and then crack on. Right, we're in the truck. Destination is put into the sat-nav. Um, six minutes quicker to go this way. I'll see once I get there whether it is actually quicker to go quicker to go that way or not. I haven't actually planned this route yet on the map. Right, yes, we are going to go in this way. I'll just put a, a pin there so it doesn't change it mid route. Uh, I just had a quick look. We could go the way it was suggesting as an alternative route. Uh, where was it now? Uh, there it was. It was coming down this road here, Broadway, then take a right. But it does look ever so slightly tight so just to be safe we'll go that way i know i can get in that way jobs are good in so i'm gonna crack on eta there is uh quarter past 11 time has gotten 
ahead of us today. We've been here for quite a while, so we've stopped up. Let's go. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we are here. We've just turned up. There is actually a truck here as well. We haven't got out of the truck yet. Looks like we literally just arrived. Uh, there's another truck there, fully loaded still. So uh, good opportunity for us to get our straps off while he's been offloaded. Plenty of space for vehicles to get around us. Obviously, we're next to the path. And yeah, to get out of here, we sort of just go down there, turn right, down to the roundabout, and then go back out the security gate the way we come in. Anyway, let's go take these straps off. I was going to say, let them know we're here, but I mean, they surely can see us. We've got a flatbed. <laughs> they, can, they can see what we've got on. Right. Boots are on. Let's get these straps off. Hello mate, you right? Just uh, just casually say hello. <laughs> so they, they know I'm here. Unless I'm just a random person saying hello to them. Right, that's the ratchets off. So we'll uh, put those ratchets up. Sorry, we put the box up, I mean. Now we've got to collect all the corner boards. Open this up, pull that tab. Corner boards live in here. Very close to me. <laughs> also, I've just been spotted. There's a guy on the other side who uh, runs his own roofing firm and he says he watches me, Trucker Jono and Gemma Warren. So, didn't get your name, but appreciate you watching, mate. He asked me if I was filming today. I was like, yeah, I'm filming. Right, corner boards have now been put away. I just spoke to the guy again <laughs> on the other side. Um, his name is Keith. He, uh, he said, give me a shout. So, Keith. That was Keith. Right, well, appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. He said uh, he said he's been watching me for a while, and as as what most people say, they like. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah? I go all over. You never know, never know where I'm going to be spotted. <laughs> okay, straps are now off. As you can see, all of them are off. We're just waiting now to be let in. That lorry driver that was here before us, he's uh, still being unloaded. Looks like he's just doing, uh, he's just doing the other side of the curtain up, as you can see. So one more side left to be done. And then uh, we will reverse into the position where he is. We'll, uh, we'll be offloaded as well. In terms of walking, we've done 0 0.6 kilometers so far. Just, it's literally just walking around the truck. So what I'm gonna do now, there's a matterland just over there. I'm just going to walk over there, get some extra steps in, walk back again. Truck is here. I'll, uh, I'll obviously take the keys with me as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be golden. Let's get the keys and locker Rooney. We can also message my boss now and ask him uh, where we're going next. Hopefully, to get a reply back. Right, let's go for a, just go for a quick walk. Just crossing the road. We're parked down there. Extra steps, it all helps, doesn't it? Pace, 19 minutes. There you go, one kilometre done. Kilometer. Not the quickest, obviously I was unstrapping as well. Um, that's one kilometre's worth of walking extra on the day. He's nearly tipped on the other side. He's only got like three more lifts to come off or something. So I'm gonna stay near the truck now so I can reverse into position. And then, uh, yeah, still went to find out where we're going from here. <laughs> it turns out that driver, um, he's also does recognise me. He, he goes, do you do, do you make videos? I was like, yeah. 
Yeah, I do. He goes, oh, I didn't want to come over and ask you that in case you didn't. <laughs> um, seems like a nice bloke. Had a brief conversation with him. He was like, um, you know, younger generation, just wants to see what they're up to and uh, see how they do the job and offering any advice. I was like, I appreciate that. Happy to take on advice whenever needed. Hmm, I don't know what's happened. <laughs> They've seriously slowed down. There was only like four pallets left to come off. They've, I've been like waiting another 20 minutes. <laughs> They've seriously slowed down. Anyway, he's just taking the last one off now. Driver's doing his curtain up. We're in the truck ready to go. Um, we are going to Gravesend from here. We're going to Remix. My boss said my boss said Remix Chatham. And I'm like, I'm now going to look at Chatham and I couldn't find any remixes there. So I was like, we've got postcode. Then he said it was DA12, Gravesend, Mark Lane. I was like, Gravesend. <laughs> Why didn't you say that? <laughs> Obviously, I'm yet to be unloaded here. It's got to go to Abingdon, so it won't be off today. Um, so it will be a night out tonight at some point, which now means I need to message my wife and just let her know. Because I'd like to let her know as soon as I can. So as of right now, it is 12 o'clock midday, and I've only just found out uh, whether or not I'm going to be home. That's perfectly normal. It, you kind of work on the basis that you're not going to be home unless you're told otherwise. And actually, um, today's Wednesday. I've not been home since I left Monday morning. So uh, if I'm home tomorrow, it'd be the first night I've been home. L Laurie's now moving. There we go. So, my turn to go. Engine on. Right. Oh, cinematic mode. No. Sorry, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that. Right, we are now in position, so we're gonna put our shoes on and jump out. Get the keys. First things first, let's give them the paperwork. And there we go, look, we're there ready to be offloaded. I think we're gonna be here a while. The quicker we go, the quicker we get loaded later, the quicker we can park up. It's gonna be a late one tonight, I think. So, something I am often asked, what do you do when you need to use the toilet when you're on the road? The answer is at delivery points, collection points. Make use of the available facilities. If not, then you've got service stations on the way to places that you can stop at. Worst case scenario, you have laybys, you know. Being a bloke, you can just whack it out and, <laughs> for lack of a better word, um, do your business. Number twos are a bit more difficult. We do actually have a portable, foldable toilet where you can put a bin bag in. Never had to use it, but it's there if I need it. Anyway, excuse me while I use the facilities especially because I know I'm on a night out tonight now as well. So it means making the use of it is even more important because there's a good chance we'll be parked up later, unless it's a service station, which is unlikely, there won't be a toilet to use. So, I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> the Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. So, full disclosure, I've been editing this video whilst going for another walk we're just uh over there just doing another walk and we're nearly at a kilometer now so start walking back here we are over there i know one kilometer is not an awful lot but for me who someone who would normally just go sit back in his truck and not do anything <laughs> This is, uh, this is extra work for me to help me try and lose some weight. Like I said, I've lost five pounds in, uh, in one week, which is nearly half a stone. Normally I do one kilometer in 12 minutes, give or take, well, 13 minutes, I would say. This one's a bit slower because, well, like I said, I've been editing a video, so not really concentrating on the walking. <laughs> It's taking my mind off it a bit. Right, we're just about to hit one kilometer. Split one. There we go. Split pace, 17 minutes. One kilometer. Like I said, normally I do it in about 13 minutes. It's taking me an extra four minutes because uh, 
I've been well walking slower <laughs> that's the answer walking slower because I've been uh, editing a video on my phone but still it's better than nothing add that with the, with the other kilometer we did earlier as well uh, which means since we've been here we've done a, a two kilometer walk nice right we are finally tipped so we're gonna crack on I will see you in Gravesend um, remix that's what it's called <laughs> see you in a bit right we're here and we're getting loaded at remix um, and we're strapped up as well we're all good to go all good to go so I know I've not really shown you too much here but yeah <laughs> we've got to get it moving yeah sorry unfortunately I haven't got time to show you the load because well A there's another truck driver waiting to come in and B where well there are people around it people who work here and I try my best not to get people on film if I can help it when you're there just with a camera like hello it raises questions and uh, I'd rather not you know worry anyone so that's just loaded and around the corner it's touch and go now as to whether or not I can make it back to the yard uh, well I can I can make it back to the yard it's just whether I'm allowed or not because where where this is getting tipped in the morning it's near uh, Kingston Bag Bagpies I think they call it which is just after Farringdon on the A420 well Farringdon is between Oxford and Swindon so I have asked the boss you know do you want me to go back to the yard thing in the morning or do a night out waiting for a reply doesn't matter I haven't got to wait here for the reply um, I can head towards the destination anyway but what I am stopping for <laughs> is to figure out where I'm going to get some fuel because we're only on well, we're on less than a quarter of a tank and here lies the problem right to fill up with fuel and park on a lay-by is risking it for theft so but, but also I need to get, get, get fuel so I might just put like a couple of hundred litres in at Cobham services be there in an hour and three minutes should be enough yeah I've got enough to get there that uh, get me there for half past four fill up the fuel and hopefully we'll get off the M25 before five o'clock but we will be going through Brackley is it Brackley it's not Brackley it's Bagshot in it Brag Bagshot and Bracknell will be going through there come five o'clock I think getting onto the M4 and then I may stop I may stop at Cheaply Services uh, yeah to be decided so I'll see you soon Right, you join me at Cobham Services, which is part there. I need to go and uh, get some fuel, like I said. I phoned up the place for delivering to. He's giving me permission to park on the road on the way in. Not that I think they can give me permission, but never mind. I said it should be right. So yeah, let's go uh, give my fuel card in. Right, I'll give him my card in. Let me show you the load that we got. So it's not even a full load, it's only 15 pallets. 15 pallets of like, basically like concrete mix. Uh, and yeah, this is going to go to Abingdon. Well, it's actually Kingston Bagpoys. Bag, Bagpoys? I can't remember how you say it. Anyway, as I was saying, so I phoned the customer up because I ain't going to get there till like half six. Uh, double check what time they take it in the morning. They will take it at eight o'clock. I just double checked I could park outside on the road. On the, it's like a, a road in. And he said, yeah, it's fine, he said. So yeah, I said this was nearly empty, so I reckon we're putting at least 370 litres, at the very least. Okay, fuel paid for, 380 litres. Let's go. You're definitely having a break because I can see you looking at your taco. <laughs> um, I will see you when we get to where we're parking up for night. See you in a bit. Okay, we're parked up. Parked up for the evening. We are in Abingdon. I was going to park um, along the long drive um, where we're delivering in the morning, but I decided that there is an industrial estate around here. I'm just going to park up here. So, yeah, this would do. I was, I was going to park there, but I didn't want to park directly opposite the junction. Probably not ideal that I'm parked here, to be fair, but... Pff, it is what it is anyone coming out of there is going to turn a left anyway because behind me is just a big old circle <laughs> so it's not going to matter anyone going out there is going to turn left 
it is what it is. Uh, there's just not enough parking spaces in uh, in the UK. Uh, there's a lot of trucks around here, so. Yeah, man, that is it for this video. Like I said, it's just short and sweet, a little bit of bonus uh, content. There'll still be a video on Saturday as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.